love that. Because it's like an R&B beat and you fucking went off in rapping, but still on the same path of talking. Like it, I felt like I was there, like you was doing shit. And I don't like that. And I told you already, and you still did it, so I don't like that. You razzling, so I'm a dazzle. <laughs> Stop playing like that. <laughs> so, so, that was dope. So I'm gonna say, did I switch it? I bet you something up. Something up. <laughs> so tell me about writing that song. That song was during a time where I was just like fed up. You ever get to a point in your life where you just feel like you just giving your all to somebody and they just don't appreciate nothing that you bring into the table. So it's like that was my song to just bust out, and that was like. I could feel how many other females may have been in that same situation and didn't have a voice to say it or didn't have a platform. So that's what I'm for. And I, love I love that. Empowering a woman, so no matter what you go through, whether it's mental abuse, physical abuse, that you can leave if you don't like it. Yeah. It's okay to leave. You do not have to be there. Yeah. So I love that. I love that. And in the song, you gave that person chances and they still was razzling and dazzling and trying to convince you. So I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. This seems like you were at a point in your life like I'm just going to let it go through music. And yeah. you did that. Did the same um, producer make that beat? Uh, no, I forgot who actually made that beat for that one. <laughs> okay. I have to go back to my records and see who made that one, but the beat is why. <laughs> All right. So tell me about the second song that you sang. Um, I don't know which second one. Oh, I know I sent problems. I don't know if he played that one already though. I'm gonna say we could play it again. Yeah, that was so. that was in the beginning, so we actually didn't talk about it. So tell me about problems. So problems is just <laughs> everybody wants to hear this song, they like, whoa, that's how you really feel. It's about money, it's about money. Nah, it's not about money. The thing about it is is that I just feel like as a as a woman, I know what I want. And I'm not just going to settle for anything Because if I was a man You wouldn't settle for anything as a man You're not going to settle for it We can accept your apology 10 times But we mess up one time It's clip You feel me? So that's just like That's a true saying If you expect a lot out of me as a woman This is what I expect out of you as a man That's a fact I always ask men Like if I brought home a baby and it wasn't your baby, would you would you leave me? Because you would want me to stay with you if it happened because you love me so much and you made a mistake. So, you know, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. Would the shoe be on the same foot? Would you be so willing to be on the same page? And sometimes you don't get the right answer. Like, you know, I'll ask you guys, men, now. If a female got pregnant and, you know, it was by accident, would you stay with her? T? You? Yeah, but I'll ask you first. He's like, don't ask me first. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, come so you can answer it. So you're dating a girl, and, you know, by accident, she, you know, fell on someone else's penis, and she got <laughs> pregnant. But she doesn't love this person. She doesn't want to be with them. She wants to be with you. Would you accept her and forgive her? 